I am Adil Kumar. We will explore dot and cross product in this video. The question here is, given vectors A, B, C and D, state whether each of the following results in a scalar, a vector or is it not possible? Justify your answer. So we are given many combinations here for dot and cross product. The first one is a dot b cross c then we have a cross b dot c a cross d dot b cross c a dot d cross b dot c a dot d plus b dot c a dot d plus b cross c so there are different combinations some of them are not valid some will result into scalar quantities some will result into vector quantities you need to mention which ones will result in scalar which ones will result into vector and which are not possible you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion now what you need to think about is that whenever we have a dot product right so so dot product results into scalar is it okay and cross product results into vector that is very important and in vectors you could have scalar multiple that is possible so as far as this product type of operations are concerned I should have scalar S C A L A R scalar multiples so basically we have these three operations and a scalar multiple will always give you a vector is it okay scalar multiple multiple of a vector we are seeing right if that is a vector we get a vector so that is the result right now these operations are performed dot products between two vectors cross products also between two vectors correct now let's analyze so when we have a dot b cross c a is a vector so we have a vector dot b cross c is also a vector is it okay vector and that gives me scalar so that is the first one now the second one is a is a vector cross b dot c is a scalar now cross product is always between vectors right so this is not possible because cross products and dot products are between two vectors correct okay now this one we have a vector because the cross product will be a vector dot another vector and that will be a scalar right because dot product results into scale so i hope you understand the strategy correct now here we have two dot products on the sides with scale multiplication right so this is scalar cross scalar can you do cross product with scalars no you can't right so that is not possible how about this this is scalar plus scalar that is okay and that will give you a scalar right you can always add two quantities now here you have scalar plus a vector now can you do scalar plus a vector 5 plus a vector hmm that is not possible so in vector addition we need to add two vectors we cannot add a vector to a scalar do you understand that part it's kind of critical to understand and I hope the answers are clear to you you can like my videos and feel free to share with your friends Thanks for suggestions and posting excellent questions. Thank you and all the best.